Okay, so I need to go find this weird sewer thing, don't I? Oh, is that a key now for the... Where I'm meant to go. It's a uh, SNES. What if it's where I was to turn around? Uh. As I walked through the old church ruins, I was surprised to hear Mr. Silton calling me. Okay, there we go. He said he had forgotten to give me something, and the church's community hall would be the perfect place to try it out. As soon as we walked into the hall, Mr. Silton said he had a present for me. <laughs> Did he rob the house? Gloves. They made me think of the old blind man with the cat, and his stolen atlas gloves. I wonder if Mr. Silton knew how lucky he was to still have them with a the glove thief around. Oh, Mr. Stolen. Silton asked me to try the gloves on and start chucking things around. But not him. He was very clear about that. <laughs> Mr. Silton suggested we clean the hall. Of course I knew when he said we, he meant me. But I was happy to try out my new gloves. He said I should clear everything off of the basketball court and put the things on the floor either side. I fiddled with the settings for a bit, but when Mr. Silton saw I was having trouble, he produced a small manual. He explained that pressing down and X would pick a thing up. Okay. X would then throw the thing, and if I wanted to place it on the floor, I should again press down and X. He looked more and more confused as he read all this, but eventually he finished by saying, Well, I hope that made more sense to you than it did to me. I think it'll just take longer. Yeah. I'll try and get up. Yes! Got it. Oh! Ah, oh, really? There's that school stuff I've got to be with. Right. That can't be in there. So if this one is a uh, Make sure I jump over here. So I just throw baby Jesus. Yeah, I did. These gloves said, it? Yeah. said Mr. Silton as he flipped through the manual. He actually looked quite excited when he explained that holding X while walking into or under a falling thing would allow me to catch it. Uh. I must admit, I was then really happy when he suggested we make it again and I try to catch 10 basketballs. Okay. So it's X. Oh. 
Oh, ich bin in Basur team Mr. Siltrit suggested we make it a real game and see how quickly I could score 10 baskets. Oh, there you go. I enjoyed this so much. It felt just like the good old days. <laughs> Except Mr. Silt wasn't as forgiving as the old man. Called ten baskets, Mr. Silton gave me what he called the high five. <laughs> Go on, two meters now. Two meters apart. He said I now knew everything about the gloves and I should be able to continue through the basement of the church into the house. When I asked him if he was coming with me, he just laughed and said they would catch up with me in the main hall. Because the door is locked. Which means I've got to go back the other way. I assume it's this way. The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. Or is this right then? This is right. No, I can't. Any further, it's not as bad. Okay. 
not this way. There was a gate just there. Oh my god. When I looked down, I was horrified to see hundreds of corpses of those things. As horrible as it sounds, my stepdog Chip said they were things to clean. So clean them I would. I can't go to the water, can I? I want to go this way. That's not the best, way there. That must be the door Mr. Silton talked about. was exactly as Mr. Silton had described it. I just hoped that the card he had given me was the security key and not just some backstage pass. <laughs> well, it opened the door. But soon an alarm went off. 